Am I right in thinking that a negative plus another negative would just give me, well, a negative? And if I had a positive and I added another positive, it would just give me more positives. And if I were to multiply and divide, that really shouldn't change anything because, well, it's just adding more of the same thing, right? Unfortunately, that's not quite the case. And this is a roadblock that many students have, whether they're in year five, right through to GCSE. Negative numbers and how they function seems to be something that everyone trips up on. And if we don't rectify this quickly, small mistakes are going to cost lots of marks. So join me on Sunday, 9 a.m. in the Secrets of a Math Tutor portal. We're gonna go through what negative numbers are, how they function, and what happens when we add, multiply, divide, and subtract them. So come join me. Let's not lose any marks for nothing.